so today, I can't believe I haven't done a video about this, but my favorite snail mucin products, I've got seven of them. These are my favorites. These are ones I use regularly, and the rest I just don't love. So I'm going to start with the first one, which I don't think is going to be a surprise to anybody, but I highly recommend everyone try it at least once. Just give it one try. I guarantee. I guarantee you'll be sold on it. I know you will. I have never heard of anybody that hasn't tried it once and loved it. I just don't. So try it just one time, please, just for me. Try it. Casarex All-in-One Advanced Snail Mucin Cream. I just know you're going to love it. There's not been anybody that hasn't tried that hasn't. Well, there's probably one person somewhere, but whatever. You'll love it. I love it. It's my favorite. Ever since I tried it, I was iffy to try it. I was nervous to try it because it sounds goopy and kind of gross. But you will be a convert once you try it. I just know you will. And I know I got a few people to try it uh, this Black Friday. And uh, anyway, try it. It's wonderful. There's no fragrance to it. There's no scent to it. It's a short ingredient list. And everyone's skin loves it. So try it once. Just try it for me. If you do anything ever, do it for me. Okay, next up, the backup. I finished this one. But uh, this one's also wonderful. It's the Casarex Snail Essence. It's also wonderful. It's a little bit easier because uh, it's just a pump and it's not as quite as messy as the jar, although they came up with a mini version too. But this one is uh, second favorite to that one. I'm not going to talk about that a whole lot because I will love it. I talk about it a lot. Uh, if you're looking for a good eye cream, Casarex Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. It's wonderful. It is hydrating for the eye area. It is soothing. You can apply it all over. You can apply it to the lids. You can apply it around. You can apply it to your face, certain areas if they're sore or itchy or wounded. So these three, just try it, try it. Okay, so now I'm going to get to the other stuff. Uh, the TM Snail and Azulene Low pH Cleanser. This stuff is really wonderful. It is very soothing. It's very calming, but it's very effective. It's very efficient. It does a pretty darn good job removing makeup and sunscreen. If you're a little bit uh, lazy sometimes, like I am, you just want one thing, this is it. It's a great cleanser. It's non-irritating, uh, low pH. It's gentle. It doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or tight, but still very effective and has a light lather, which is kind of satisfying. Okay, this is a newer product that I've been trying. Uh, the Jumiso Snail X Ultimate Barrier Cream. This stuff is really wonderful. Uh, it has the packaging that I wish the Casarex had for the full size, but it's also really wonderful. No fragrance to it. Really nice, uh, light, lotiony gel, goopy texture, which is wonderful. Uh, there we go. And just really nice. Sometimes I use this one just on the backs of my hands with the winter now. It's a little bit drying and, uh, it's pretty wonderful. Layers well. Uh, this one I found with the Casarex, I found this has to be used at the end of your routine. Otherwise, anything you apply over pretty much won't get absorbed. It'll slide off. This one's a little more friendly. You can put it in your moisturizer phase or at the end of your routine, and it works well both ways. Uh, the Ionique Black Snail Restore Cream. This stuff is also really nice. Uh, very, uh, let's see. There we go. A little bit. Uh, more goopy than the uh, the Jumiso, but a little bit less goopy than the Casa Rex. So this stuff's really wonderful as well. I believe this does contain one fragrance ingredient, which is mirror extract, which is an antibacterial. It also can be slightly irritating for some people. Most people won't be an issue because it's towards the very end of the ingredient list. It's a mild, it's also has antibacterial properties. So this one's also pretty darn affordable. And then last but not least, I think the most affordable product on the show today is Peach Slices. Uh, they've got a nice lineup with snail mucin. and they've got a rescue mask. This moisturizer is wonderful. Their toner is also great. This is my favorite out of the three, but the mask is also wonderful and the toner you can't go wrong with. Uh, so this stuff is also wonderful. Uh, it also contains Centella Asiatica, uh, strawberry, and then, of course, sodium hyaluronic, which has to be in everything. So, But this stuff pretty darn affordable. I think it's around $11, and this is about three ounces, just about. So the bottle's a little bit larger. So these are my snail mucin favorites. I know there's a lot of other snail mucin products out there. Uh, Mizen has several. I just, uh, I just don't love it as much as I love the Casa Rex. It just does great things for my skin, and uh, especially during the winter and after I use my laser, it's wonderful. It's soothing. Snail mucin is something you want to include in your routine if you can at all possible. If you uh, are opposed to using a snail mucin, there's a brand called V-Green, 
which uses a potato type ingredient, I think a sweet potato, and they make a snail mucin like ingredient out of it, which has a similar texture. So V Green might be a brand worth checking out for you, but snail mucin is composed of lots of good glycoproteins, uh, moisturizing ingredients, enzymes. It's just wonderful. It's great for acne. It's great for dryness. It's great for soothing. There's no other ingredient just like it where it is that uh, multifaceted that can work in that many ways and that many different skin issues. I mean, I guess the closer one, I guess, would be as lactic acid, which is also amazing. But uh, I debate what's my favorite skincare ingredient. Is it as lactic acid as a snail mucin? I have two amazing ones. I I don't want to make a decision yet, but I will make a decision at some point before I hear what my favorite ingredient is. So it's a tough decision, but someone's got to do it. So anyway, these are my snail mucin favorites. Seven products. Interested hearing from you guys if you have a favorite snail mucin product. Or if you're one of those who hasn't tried it yet, let me talk you into trying it somehow. Let me do it. Ask me anything and we'll get you to try it somehow. Or if not, try the V-Green. So anyway, thanks so much. I will see you more tomorrow. Okay, bye guys.